Hi, my name is Ravishankar Pegada. In this video, I am going to demonstrate on how to secure traffic based on Azure tags using Palo Alto NGFW. Here is the agenda for today's demonstration. We will start with understanding the lab topology that I am going to use. Post which, the first thing that we need to take care is to register an application on Azure portal in order to get the service principle details that we are going to use on Palo Alto Panorama which will be used by Azure plugin in order to monitor the resources. Post which we will try to add dynamic address group using the tags that are monitored by Azure plugin and use these dynamic address groups as part of the policy definition and try to send the traffic in order to match these Azure tags that are used within the dynamic address groups and we will also try to see how the traffic is being reported. Here is the topology that I am going to use for this demonstration. Over here you can see that I have Cloud NGFW which is connected to Azure Virtual WAN and to this Azure Virtual WAN there are two spoke vnets, spoke vnet one with web server, the other one with a DB server and this web server and DB server on Azure portal is being assigned with Azure tags as you can see the value and the name of the tags are being configured within this uh, virtual machines. I'll show these tags on the Azure portal itself. Let's try to go into the demonstration now. Within your panorama, you need to install Azure plugin. Over here you can see that we need to set up the service principle. As you can see here, I have added a service principle over here. If I try to click on this, you can see the details that needs to be filled in over here. So these client ID, client secret, tenant ID, all this information, you will be able to get this by registering an application on Azure portal. Let's try to see how to register an application on Azure portal. So once you come to your Azure portal, you need to click on this app registration. So this is one of the service over here you will get an option to add a new registration. So I have already registered an application. If you see here I have an application that is registered. If you click on this, you will be able to get all the service principle details that we are going to use on Panorama Azure plugin. So the client ID, tenant ID, all this information that we are going to use on Azure plugin will be taken from here. And the other important thing over here is after registering an application, you also need to add a client secret over here. So you, you need to click on this new client secret and you will be able to get the client secret that we are going to use within Azure plugin. Important thing that needs to be noted over here is the value of the secret. It will not be visible post registration. For the first time when you try to add this client secret, you will be able to see the value of this. You need to have a copy of this value. And we are going to use that client secret as you can see over here, right? The client secret that we are specifying within Palo Alto Panorama Azure plugin. That's the value we have copied from Azure portal. So after adding this service principle, we just need to go ahead and configure the notify groups. Here what we are going to specify over here is what are all the device groups on Panorama that can use the monitored resources. That is the thing that we are going to specify over here. As you can see, I have selected some of my Cloud NGFW device groups. After adding this notify group, Next step is to go ahead and configure the monitoring definition. This is basically the we are going to use the service principle that is being defined and also the notify group. Post configuring this monitoring definition, we just need to commit the configuration onto Panorama. After committing the configuration, you should see the status as success and also you can click on this dashboard so that that will give you the details of all the resources that are monitored by this Azure plugin. Now let's try to see how to use these monitored resources within Palo Alto policy definition. In order to use these monitored resources within policy definition, we need to define the address group that is the dynamic address groups. For this demonstration within my device group, I have defined a couple of dynamic address groups over here. If I go to the dynamic address group, which is the by the name web server you can see that this is the name of my address group and i'm trying to match based on the azure tag so first thing that you need to do is you need to select the type as dynamic and over here you can try to add the tags so 
if you if you try to see here right i have monitor the tags based on the web server if i go to my azure portal let me go over there now so if i come to my azure portal over here right this is the web server and this web server is having a tag by the name so this is the name of the tag that is configured web vm and the value is apache so what we are going to do now we are going to monitor or uh, define the dynamic address group based on this tags instead of actual ip address in order to do that you can just try to search for example apache it will show you the actual tag that is being configured because these tags are being monitored by azure plugin so you just need to select this you can also add multiple tags as well by using and or or operators so that's how you will be able to define your uh, dynamic address group and similarly i have defined dynamic address group to match my db server that is with the tag by the name as dbvm and value as mysql so the same thing can be seen over here by going to my uh, dbvm so if you come to this you can see that there are tags defined over here and this is the name of the tag dbvm and the value of the tag is mysql that is the uh, matching criteria i am using while defining this dynamic address group what is our next step so we have just defined our uh, dynamic address groups right so instead of defining the policies based on the ip addresses of actual vms we are going to use these dynamic address groups and see how exactly the policies are being defined and also how the traffic is being inspected by our palo alto cloud ngfw so for that we are going to define a security policy if you see here i am de uh, defining a policy by the name db to vm which means i am trying to match the traffic based on the dynamic address group here i am defining the source address as my dynamic address group that is defined so the db server is the dynamic address group right you will see all the address groups that you have defined over here i am using the source match criteria as db server which is actually matching the tag of the db server the destination match criteria is to match the uh, web server which is my dynamic address group that i have defined so now we have defined this dynamic address group based policy right and let's try to go ahead and commit the configuration post committing the configuration you will also see that so for example if you go to this uh, address group you will also be able to see the actual value of the vm ip address so we have just tried to match the tag associated with the vm right but because this azure plugin is able to monitor the azure resources and azure tags our azure plugin is able to go ahead and get get this ip to tag mapping so that's where we'll be able to see the actual ip address that is being assigned to this vm and now let's try to send some traffic and see how the traffic will be inspected based on this dynamic address group policy definition here is the web server that we are going to use and also my uh, dbvm and this web server as you can see it has an ip address 10509 which is installed with apache web server and i'll try to send some traffic uh, from this dbvm try to access that web server and can see how exactly it is going to be reported on panorama so now i am able to access the web server from this db vm let's now try to monitor the traffic if we go to monitor tab so the traffic that we have sent is from this 10605 to 10509 so this is my db vm 10605 and web server is 10509 and you can see that this particular session that we are seeing over here it is a web browsing based uh, application because we have tried to access the web server and it is hitting the rule db2 web so as per the rule that we have defined we have tried to define this policy based on the dynamic address group instead of the actual ip address so that shows that how exactly the azure plugin is able to monitor azure resources and leverage that monitored resources as part of the dynamic address group definition and in turn policy definition 
and this particular tag based policies it is applicable for both cloud ngfw and bm series 5 wall that is being used to to secure the traffic on azure public cloud so the other important uh, use case that i wanted to highlight here is so till now i have demonstrated to monitor the tags of the vm side right? the tags that are associated to the vms now if at all you wanted to define the security policies based on zones which you usually do right on cloud and gfw we don't expose multiple zones so in order to achieve the requirement of defining the security policies based on multiple zones you'll be able to monitor the tags like you can define the security policies based on subnets or the name of the subnet for example if you see here i have defined a dynamic address group to match the name of the subnet web subnet and after committing the configuration you'll be able to see the actual value of this subnet right this is the actual value 10500 is the subnet that is associated to this web vm what i'm trying to say here is you'll be able to define the security policies based on the subnets as well instead of actually providing the subnet value as the input you can define the policies based on the subnet names so that you'll be able to define the policies based on the name of the subnets or the name of the resources thank you for watching the video